tonight. An explosion in North Andover rocking the Dow chemical plant and badly injuring several workers. WBZ's Jim Armstrong is live at the scene where in the past hour, investigators held a news conference. Jim? But David, we learned the chemical responsible for this explosion is something called trimethyl aluminum. You've probably never heard of it, but it's actually a key ingredient in making LED lights like these. So it's very useful, but also quite volatile. So much so uh, that hazmat teams still at this hour have not been able to get into the actual laboratory where the explosion happened. Due to the condition of the building, the continued operation of our hazmat and bomb squad teams, the uh, fire investigators have not had access to the actual uh, laboratory. Teams of investigators working into the night, trying to learn more about this powerful explosion. A blast so strong, neighbors felt it around 2.30 Thursday afternoon. I heard a loud boom. The house shook a little bit. And again, my dog barked, went, went a little bit crazy, and I went and looked out my back window. Which, in her case, is this industrial park, home to the Dow Chemical Facility. This was a chemical that was reactive to water. And for some reason that will come out as part of the investigation, this chemical reacted with water, which resulted in the explosion. Four workers had to be rushed to Lawrence General Hospital, all with serious injuries. Three of them so severe, they had to be flown by medical helicopters to hospitals in Boston. The fourth victim stayed here, all of them critically injured. What the patients had was uh, blast injuries um, from the pressure of the explosion, as well as the chemical on their bodies that they were exposed to. And, and burns as well. This is not the first such problem at this facility. Back in 2013, another explosion killed worker Carlos Amaral. But now the state fire marshal says the two blasts are not related. It was a totally different type of uh, chemical. It was a different type of operation that resulted in that incident. Were there now, in addition to the four people who remain hospitalized tonight, we just learned there was actually a fifth person injured in this afternoon's explosion. Uh, that person's injuries, however, were relatively minor, so they were treated here at the scene and then allowed to go home. As you can see behind me here, crews are packing up for the night, but they'll be back here uh, first thing tomorrow morning. They have a lot more delicate investigating to do, including potentially getting into that laboratory to get a better sense of exactly why this happened today. We're live in North Andover. Jim Armstrong, WBZ News. Lisa. Jim, thank you.